Ja, oder, liebe Briten, wie man auf Ostdeutsch sagen würde, Hau ab! <lacht> I'm telling you Germans here, yeah, straight to the point. Oh, I love you more than words can say. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you know what time it is. It's your boy, Geshe Shed, one and only, and we are back here again today on this beautiful day, guys. Ek Haiza Shady Shay, Shonde Kanan's Lana. Okay, nice to meet all of you, <laughs> even though uh, you're on the other side of the screen. But still, guys, it's a pleasure. It is a pleasure. Anyway, without saying too much, guys, today we're going to check out some German satire. Okay, I just want to jump on this right away. You guys recommended this, and I saw the title. The title made me laugh. Like, the title. Anyway, without saying too much, guys, let's jump on this right away and let's see. Okay, yeah, okay. But make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, give me some love, and boom, let's go straight to action. And for those of you that are interested in more British content, you can check out my main channel, which is this one here, Shay D. Shay. And uh, yeah, the videos are there. I recently said more things about the UK there actually today. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then, let's go straight to action. But before we start, we just smash that like, we subscribe, okay? And then, um, yeah, so, Brexit. Dear Brits, please leave already. German political comedy, Heite Show, English subtitles. Let's go! So, dear viewers, once again, we have a very memorable Brexit week behind us. Liebe Zuschauer, wieder mal liegt eine sehr denkwürdige Brexit-Woche hinter uns. Endlose Hängepartie. Ganz Europa fragt sich inzwischen, wann kommen Sie endlich zu Potte, diese Hängebriten? Es kann doch nicht wahr sein. Drei Tage braucht das britische Unterhaus, müssen Sie noch über das Bild hinwegkommen? <lacht> ja. Drei Tage braucht das britische Unterhaus, um nochmal festzustellen, dass Sie Theresa Mays Deal mit der EU nicht wollen, aber keinen Deal wollen Sie auch nicht. Sagt doch endlich mal, was ihr wollt. Jetzt mal ehrlich, wie lange soll sich dieser komische Abschied denn noch hinziehen? Das ist actually true. That was actually true. It was taking ages, ages, ages just for this Brexit deal. Ages, ages, and Theresa May had to get kicked out for Boris Johnson to take over. Yo, it was a madness, I'm telling you. It dragged out so long. Vielleicht äh, verlassen wir die EU dann über Monate hin noch nicht oder wir haben nicht mehr den Schutz oder wir treten vielleicht nie aus. Ah! <lacht> Jetzt wird der Austritt also wohl verschoben. Aber für was? Für was? Und wie viele Niederlagen muss die May noch kassieren, bevor sie mal zurücktritt nach all den Demütigungen? Das geht ja fast schon in den Sadomaso-Bereich, meine Damen und Herren. Oh, Wirklich. Ja. yo, this is a pure violation of Theresa May. No lie. Ja. Nächsten Dienstag diskutieren zum dritten Mal dieselben englischen Politiker mit denselben Argumenten denselben Deal. Das ist kein Parlament, das ist eine Demenzklinik, wenn Sie mich fragen. Ehrlich jetzt. Meine, was soll man zu Leuten wie Boris Johnson überhaupt noch sagen? Why can't we make a win, why can't we make a win-win situation out of this mess? Also warum können wir aus diesem ganzen Elend nicht eine win-win Situation machen? Dann habe ich gesagt, lieber Boris, I would if I could. Ja, ja, ja. <lacht> no, actually, Boris Johnson has got that stutter. Oh my days. Look at her. Oh my days. Yo, no, no, this is, this is mad. This is some madness, bro. Yeah, this is pure roasting. I thought Mit uh, Michael Mittermeier roasted the UK, but this one is what I call real roasting and violation at the same time, mate. I'm not gonna lie. The way this, the way this guy said it to me at the beginning reminded me so much of Boris Johnson. Why can't we make a win? Why can't we make a win-win situation out of Boris this mess? Johnson? Also, warum können wir aus diesem ganzen Elend nicht eine win-win situation machen? Dann habe ich gesagt, lieber Boris, I would if I could. Ja, 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 I, I would, but geht ja nicht. Ne? But that's what, geht no? ja nicht. Und selbst mit einem zweiten Referendum ginge ja alles nur von vorne los. Was, wenn wieder die Doofen gewinnen? Ja, meistens gewinnen die Doofen. Ne? Die sind fast überall in der Überzahl. Wirklich, diese Engländer kommen mir inzwischen vor wie so ein Partygast. Wait, who is that guy? Yeah, I know that's Dover, but who is this man? So you're saying that the idiots, the idiots are always gonna win. Überzahl. Wirklich, diese Engländer kommen mir inzwischen vor wie so ein Partygast. Also Leute, 
Ich bin da mal weg. Der sich schon vor einer Stunde verabschiedet hat und einfach nicht rafft, dass wirklich alle wollen, dass er endlich abhaut. Ne? Alte Regel, nichts ist nerviger als Leute, die einfach kein Gefühl dafür haben, wann endlich Schluss ist. Ich möchte auf jeden Fall im Binnenmarkt bleiben. Aber natürlich ohne im Binnenmarkt zu bleiben. <lacht> <laughs> oh my day, they say you die already. So basically, they're saying leave already. Like, like Brexit, like the UK, just leave already. Okay, you guys are talking, we don't even want you in the EU anymore. Leave already. You are dragging this deal, saying, no, I don't want to go. I want to go. I don't want to go. I want to go. Let's make a business situation. No, leave already. Come on. They're tired. Okay, okay, that was funny. Yeah, klar. Es steht eine Menge auf dem Spiel. 1,2 Billionen Dollar haben allein Banken und Hedgefonds jetzt schon von der Insel runtergeholt. Dabei ist noch gar nicht Brexit. Ich glaube, viele Engländer haben die Konsequenzen gar nicht kapiert. Andere versuchen wenigstens zu helfen. Sie fahren zurzeit Sonderschichten beim Süßwarenhersteller Katjes am Niederrhein und schicken so viel Lakritz und Fruchtgummi nach Großbritannien wie möglich. Der Grund, sie rechnen mit dem Schlimmsten. Oh my day, he's trying to send as much as possible. Like, yo, send it, send it, send it, send it, send it. We don't know what's gonna happen in the future. Just send it, yeah. Just get packed. Stop piles of this. Das möchte ich mir gar nicht ausmalen. Licorice them. Niederrhein und schicken so viel Lakritz und Fruchtgummi nach Großbritannien wie möglich. Der Grund, sie rechnen mit dem Schlimmsten. Gummy bears. Das möchte ich mir gar nicht ausmalen, wenn die komplette Fred Ferkel Versorgung Großbritanniens zusammenbricht, meine Damen und Herren. Ja. Come on, this is a pure violation. This is a pure violation. Why are you saying? Why are you saying? It's like you wonder what's going to happen to the British population when you know all the sweets are not being uh, are not being sent through. And look at the picture he's put in there. Come on, bruv. Come on, bruv. Und man darf ja nie vergessen, wer die ganze Leave Kampagne, also den Kampf für Fish and Chips finanziert hat. Britische Milliardäre Fish and waren das, die Fish aus and England Mike. nach dem Brexit eine Steueroase machen wollen. Darum geht's. Nicht um Patriotismus. Leute wie James Radcliffe, der reichste Mann Englands, lieben ihr Land, aber nicht so sehr, dass sie selber da bleiben würden. Der prominente Brexit-Befürworter verlegt seinen Wohnsitz nach Monaco. Seinem angeblich so geliebten Vaterland könnten so bis zu 4 Milliarden Pfund an Steuern entgehen. James Dyson gilt eigentlich als Befürworter des Brexit. Mit dem Umzug nach Singapur wolle sich Dyson auf die wachsenden asiatischen Märkte konzentrieren. Oh, okay, they have a point there. They have a point there. They say you love your country so much. Yeah, you're fond of your, your, your country so much. But why don't you live in your country? Why don't you live in your country? Yeah, why are you giving bad excuses? They're like, you know what, we are out of this, yeah, we are, we are out of this. Yes, supporting Brexit, but... Are not going to be there to suffer. Okay, allow the masses to suffer. That's basically what they're trying to drive at. Ja, genau, das glaube ich sofort. Ja, schön den Stöpsel aus der Insel ziehen und sich dann selber verpissen. Piss Wir reden hier natürlich auch Fish über Wahnvorstellungen. Das ist Fakt. Viele Brexit-Befürworter wollen der Backstop-Lösung für Irland nicht zustimmen, weil sie Angst haben, dass die böse EU sie dann für immer im Binnenmarkt hält. Das will überhaupt keiner hier. Très chers amis d'Outre-Manche, ne vous inquiétez pas, nous allons vous laisser partir pour de vrai. Ci sarebbero tanti motivi per cui potreste rimanere, ma non me ne viene in mente neanche uno. Ciao Stronzi. Ciao Stronzi. Ciao Stronzo. You know what Stronzo means? No way. Ci sono ancora le fasi in Europa che hanno sì che e poi si siste che te belli das. Even the even the Greek. Yeah. Viele Grüße aus Griechenland. Ja, oder, liebe Briten, wie man auf Ostdeutsch sagen würde. Hau ab! <lacht> I'm telling you Germans here, yeah, straight to the point. Just piss off. No need to, to sugarcoat it. Just piss off. Thank you. Bisschen hart. It's not a bit hard, very hard. Sie nehmen ganz Europa in Geiselhaft. Ja. So, und für alle, die inzwischen... Well, they're taking the whole of Europe hostage. Then the most very powerful. <lacht> no? <lacht> okay, let's go. ...echt Probleme haben, unsere an sich geliebten Mallorca-Nachbarn noch zu verstehen. Hier der passende Nachhilfeunterricht. <lacht> 
Irish for Brexiteers with Little Miss Tina Houston. Okay, English for Brexiteers. This is gonna be good. Hello, my name is Tina, and the boy with a big head is Oliver. <laughs> the boy with the big head is Oliver. <laughs> He wants to understand Brexit. Ja, genau. Ich meine, kein Mensch versteht mehr diese Engländer. Oliver, in English, please. No other language. <laughs> no other language. <laughs> yeah, that was very funny. The British don't want our deal. But they also don't want no deal. Lesson one. It's Brexit time, isn't it? It is? Well, it's not not Brexit time. <laughs> this is what we Confuses call too. the dreifache Verneinung. <laughs> or as we say in German, the British have one at the Waffel. <laughs> Einen an der Waffel. Okay, Tina. The British have won the Waffel. We're already talking about waffling, talking too much. Yo, this means something that I think flew over my head. One at the waffle. <laughs> Einen an der Waffel. Oh. Or maybe the one at not making up their mind. Yeah, waffle, wa waffle. Wa or when you talk too much without making a point. Anyway, let's go. Okay, Tina, then I have just one question. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? <laughs> What does that mean? Yeah. Yeah, nobody knows that. <laughs> Why does she have to go? What does this mean? Why? Okay. Tina, then I have just one question. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? What does that mean? Yeah. Yeah, nobody knows that. The British are committing suicide. And the big question is, who can save Europe now? Only this French hottie. <laughs> also, I wouldn't push him from the bed, Kante. <laughs> he wrote a letter to Angela Merkel with fresh ideas for Europe, but Angela didn't write back. Instead, Macron got a letter from this French cleaning woman from the Saarland. Tina, what is the Saarland? Well, Oliver, the Saarland is a funny little Bundesland. Okay. So I see the roast is for everyone, yeah, it's for everybody, not just the British, yeah? Okay. Alright, so he wrote a Angela Merkel letter, she didn't reply, but then some farmer lady replied. Smaller than Bielefeld. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the people of Saarland are called the Saarlafis. <laughs> Makes sense. Anyway, <laughs> the cleaning woman said no to all French ideas. However, she had a great idea herself. Die CDU-Vorsitzende hat angeregt, mit Frankreich zusammen einen gemeinsamen europäischen Flugzeugträger zu bauen. <lacht> Germany built the Flugzeugträger. I love me schlapp. Yes. We can't even repair a bloody sailboat. No, no. Okay, is and it? this is our last lesson for today, kids. Peter, Paul and Mary are trying to Brexit, but they can't, because they are too fucking stupid. What now? Asks Peter. Now? Says Mary. We are going to the pub and drink our terrible English beer until we are so drunk that we forget our shitty island ever existed. The end. Yes. Come on, Oliver, let's get drunk. Prostate. Proper roasting. Okay, proper roasting. I would say the humor is a very German humor. <laughs> That's what I can say. But still, now nah, I get a point. I get a point. I get a point. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's that kind of humor that you look, you're like, okay, what are they going to say next? Like, okay. All right. Okay. 
I'm not gonna lie, they had some valid points. They had some so many valid points, yeah. So many valid points. Like Brexit deal dragged, it dragged for so long, so so long, so long, and COVID hit. <laughs> that was so crazy, man. That was so crazy. It's like the population were confused, yeah. People wanted in, some people wanted out. And then it was just a struggle. And then finally, when Brexit happened, some of the negotiators wanted in, some wanted out. So that was a bit of a struggle. And uh, the UK, they want the deal they've been offered. They're offering a deal that the EU refused to. And they don't want a no deal. Crazy man, drug, drug, I said drug, drag, 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 drag. And then finally they're out. But then this video is like, listen guys, we don't even want you here. <laughs> That's what they're saying. We don't want you here. Please go. <laughs> You know, when you have that friend that you really want to leave, okay, like it's time for them to go, but they don't want to go. And then when they make their way, like they're about to leave, and you're already getting excited that, like, okay, now they're going to go, you can stay and sleep and do what you want to do. And they're like, actually, you know what, I can't go yet because so sounds to me, but train is going to be delivered two hours, so I'm just going to wait here. <laughs> you're like, just go, please go already. That's basically what they're saying. Anyway, guys, let's just take this on the chin, okay? British people, take this on the chin. It's just satire, and uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it was quite interesting. It was quite interesting to see the view uh, of the Germans. And um, to be honest, I'll just call this German humor because it was interesting, okay? It was interesting. I would say it was that funny for me, but it was interesting. Yeah, some bits were, were funny, yeah. Anyways, be your boy Shady Share the one and only, the one and only, the one and only, the very one and only, guys. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, give me some love. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. It's gonna be a peace out. Oh, I love you more than words can say. You are me. Oh, you are the light that shine in my way. You are me. Oh, I love you more than words can say. You are me. Oh, you are the light that shine in my way. You are the day the more.